video, we're going to graph the function that we um, created in our last video about the Ferris wheel problem where the height of x was equal to um, 20 minus 10 times the cosine of 30t. And to do that, we're going to use the interval from 0 for t up until 12 seconds. And that's nice because theta right here, theta is going to then equal at our max value 30 times 12, which is 360. So we're going to do one full rotation. And I think our, our goal here is to, to pick values of time that when we plug into our theta, right, we're able to actually get um, different heights that we want to look at. So anyway, we, we're going to plug in different times to get thetas that we want to deal with, right? If, if we think about cosine of theta for a moment, we, we want to deal with 0 and 90 degrees and 180 and 270 and 360 because we're doing one full rotation. So for me, it's, it's easy to think about, oh, I can pick whatever times I want here. What times do I plug into to this function to get theta is 0 and, and theta is 90 and so forth? Well, to, to get 0, right, I'm going to plug in 0 for the time because 30 t is the equation I'm using here because that's what theta is. Right, to, to get theta, I, I plug in t. The zero times thirty is zero. I can figure out the height. Well, my function is twenty minus ten times the cosine of theta, and theta is zero. So, what's the cosine of, of zero? Well, that's just equal to one. So this the height is twenty minus ten times one, or twenty minus ten, and the height here is ten. And we're gonna keep going like this. Now, now what time do I plug in to get to get ninety for theta? Well, 30 times what is 90? 30 times 3. So 3 seconds is our next interval. And 3 times 30 is 90. And the cosine of 90 is 0. So we have 20 minus 0, and the, the height is 20. Next, we want to get 180. So to do that, we're just going to go up to 6. And notice our pattern here. 6 times 30 is 180. So that we have 20 minus 10 times the cosine of 180, which is just negative 1. So 20 minus 10 times negative 1 is 20 plus 10, or 30. And notice, right, we have a pattern here as well. Uh, up next, we have 9. 9 times 30 is 270. So, so what do we do there? Well, um, we have 20 minus um, 10 times the cosine of, of 270, which is just 0, right? So 20 minus 0 is 20. And then to get 360, we just plug in 12 seconds for time. And 20 minus 30 times 12 is, that's 360, that's 20 minus um, 10 times 1. So that's just, again, 10. And notice our, our pattern is already repeating. And now that we have this, we can, we can sketch a graph of our function. And we can answer the questions um, that they're going to ask us, which is, what's the approximate height after, you know, 4 seconds or whatever you want to look at? We can just see that on the graph. So I'm going to make a new window and bring it over here. And this, well, this, move it to the side. Okay. So, so now we're going to graph the values of this table. And let me just set up my axes. We have our x axes and our y axes. In this case, we're going to have x represent the height of the function and then this the the y axis represent the time of our function. And I'm gonna to try to be somewhat consistent with my scale. I'm gonna put the times in down here and then put the corresponding angles so I kind of know what's happening with my function. So we have time is zero, time for three seconds, six seconds, nine seconds and twelve seconds, but I, I think I can give myself a little bit more room than that. So three, six, nine and twelve. So there's our seconds, and the and the angles that those correspond to are, and I'm gonna I'll put them right below, zero degrees, ninety degrees, one hundred and eighty degrees, two hundred and seventy degrees. Did I miss the thing here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> three is not zero degrees. Three is ninety degrees, and 
6 is not 90 degrees, 6 is is not, is 180. So let me fix that. I forgot to include the 0 degree. Alright, got to count from the beginning there. So this is 0, right? Put that in there. This is 0, and that's at 0 degrees, our, our deg at 0 time, our degrees are 0. At 3 seconds, our degrees are 90. At 6 seconds, our degrees are 180. At 9, nine seconds, our degrees are 270. And at 12 seconds, our degrees are 360. And I'm, I'm just doing that to keep track of my graph. That'll help me. And the height, if I look at the range of the height, I think it went from um, t uh, from from 10 up and all the way up to, was it 30? Yeah, up to 30 and back down to 10. So we have 10, 20, and 30 to deal with. I'm just going to estimate that here on the graph. 10 and 20 and 30. Okay, so now now we have everything we need to actually sketch this thing out. And uh, I'm going to just put these little lines in as boundaries, right? This The cosine is never going to go above or below these two boundaries. And now I can plot. So at, at 0, um, the height was 10. So we're right here at 0. I need the pen tool. That's our first point. At 90, we're up to 20. At 6 seconds, or 180 degrees, we're up to 30. Right? And then at 9 seconds, or 270, we're back down to 20. And that should definitely be moved over. Right? We're going to line up with the 9 here. And then at 12 seconds, we're back down to 10. So here it is. going to connect this. We can keep going, right? This would repeat right off the page, right? And the same thing in this direction. So now if someone asks you, well, what's the height at about four seconds? Well, we can look at our graph. And we can see this, this, the height's definitely between 20 and 30, pretty close, in this case, to about 25. If we look at six, we can tell you exactly what it was. And nine, we can tell you exactly what it was from this graph. Otherwise, we might just want to estimate in between, and, and we'll talk about in other videos what you can do here, but I guess what I would do is just get out the calculator and plug in the value we need. So if I want to know what exactly is going to happen at 20 minus cosine of 30 and then at 4 seconds, well, let's just plug that in. We have 20 minus 10, so we're trying to see how high the Ferris wheel is at, at 4 seconds. And I have my calculator here, so it's cosine of 120 degrees. Well, what's that? I don't know. So let me plug this in. The cosine of 120 is negative one half. That makes sense. It should be a negative value, right? Because our unit circle, like this, the cosine are x values, and 120 degrees opens up over here, somewhere over there. So that's in the negative direction. That's a negative cosine value, and cosine refers to x. It's a negative x direction. So we have 20 minus negative 5, right? Because this, all I did there was this is negative half, and this is 10. So negative 1 half times 10 is, is negative 5. So we have 20 minus negative 5, which is 20 plus 5, and our height is 25, which is what we could read right here on the chart, right? We go up at 4 seconds, and we look over, and we're about at 25. It's only off on the chart because of, of any inaccurate drawing that I might have done in the process. But anyway, that's, that's the graph of the Ferris wheel function. And if you want to look at the original problem, see the video before this. I think you'll enjoy it. This, this is the Ferris wheel problem. And I saw this on the uh, Khan Academy. I just changed it a little bit to help, to help myself actually learn this problem because I liked it. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.